Hey everyone, welcome. I'm gonna be doing some white crane qigong and I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit and then I'll explain a little bit after that. Hey guys. Yeah. I'm watching, well, I'm here at the center. It just got through raining and then, so the water's gonna start rising. Today I wanna talk about uh, the anxiety and the stress and the lungs. So uh, for me, um, if, you, if anyone out there has been feeling anxious, or, or stressed uh, by the recent events in the news, um, then you can just comment, put a comment and say stress. For me, what I feel when, I, when anxiety starts to hit is a little blockage in the chest. I feel like the lungs are constricted, I feel like tightness uh, in the chest, and so it forces me to like take a deep breath, like a, like a sigh. And then I can feel like throughout the body a little bit more like circulation and blood flow as a result of that. So when, uh, when you look at the body and how it naturally responds, a sigh is a body's natural response for releasing tension. Uh, so when we look at Qigong, a lot of Qigong is, is using breath work as a strategy to release and reduce uh, tension and stress in the body. A lot of people think that Qigong is just breath work. It is a big part of it, but it's not just that. A big aspect of Qigong is your mind and what your intention is and where you focus uh, the mind. Uh, so for this particular exercise, what we're coming from is a situation where the mind is overactive. The mind is overactive. So if you ever heard of like the, if you ever heard of the idea of an uh, analysis paralysis where you have like so much to think about and and you don't exactly know what course of action to take it's a little bit like the anxiety and the stress so we're looking at the white crane movement and how the white crane movement can help uh, in bringing down the stress or bringing down the energy as it's rising up as a result of anxiety and stress so like I said for me I feel it in the chest I feel it in the chest as my mind is active. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do a workout or uh, go for a walk or something. So there's a lot of things that we can do. But right now, today, what we're doing is targeting the lungs specifically. So we're targeting the lungs because 
um, the current virus attacks the lungs and we're working on fully expanding the arms so that they can take in the oxygen and then fully contracting and closing the arms and the shoulders and the chest so that it can uh, expel all the CO2. As a, as a byproduct and as a result, we're opening the chest and, op and, opening, and opening and closing the back, which are the physical tissues that surround the lungs. So we want to we want to also stretch those tissues. If those tissues surrounding the lungs can open and stretch, they are flexible, pliable, but they can also relax. Then that means that the lungs can come in easily. Like I said, I feel tightness in the stretch when I feel anxiety and stress. So likely I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a exercise like this. And so like I said, I feel I feel that taking a deep breath is the natural body, like a sigh, is the natural body's response for um, reducing stress. So we try to replicate that in conscious movement, in repeated pattern, uh, like Qigong. So Qigong, like I said, is a lot about breath work and relaxation, because you wanna start from a place of relaxation. When you're relaxed, the body's uh, blood can flow naturally and smoothly throughout the whole body. And that's really what we want throughout the course of the day is our circulation to be flowing naturally and smoothly. We don't want it restricted. So if we're anxious, if we're, if we're stressed and we have this analysis uh, paralysis, then like I said, for me, I feel it in the chest and sometimes people get the neck tension and shoulder tension. And so the circulation is not gonna be flowing smoothly. The lungs are gonna be constricted. They won't be able to take uh, air and oxygen and then as a result the body and the cells of the body will not be oxygenated fully as a result the cell replacement will not facilitate will not happen uh, efficiently and so this is what leads to this is what leads to you know uh, illness um, disease in the body so I want to show you the quick movement that we're doing okay like I said we're calling on the spirit of the white crane so in Qigong, there's a lot of animals that are used. We try to mimic the spirit of the, of the animal. So like the tiger, if we're trying to raise the spirit, then we want to, we want to, we want to place our mentality, our, our, our posture and our breath in the, in the tiger. Right now, right now, we're doing the white crane. And the white crane in Chinese Qigong is a symbol of long life symbol of longevity and so the movements of the bird if we look at um, animal sports qigong the movements of the bird are very big right the wings spread and they're and it's very like soothing and relaxing so this is how we use the body if the mind is not relaxed let's say we're anxious or stressed this is how we use the body to bring down the energy. Not only that, this uh, movement is also going to open the lungs so that you can inhale fully. And then when you close the hands and the arms, you can exhale fully. So this is a simple movement that you can do anywhere. So we're down regulating with the attention on the lungs and the arms and with the movement big and soft and flowing we're down regulating if we're anxious in the mind then it's possible we're activating the sympathetic response in the body which is not good unless we're in a fight or uh, we have to flee you know or run so likely with the anxiety and the stress we're inducing a sympathetic fight-or-flight response we want to mitigate that with the the soft movement 
of Qigong and the mental focus on the area that we want to uh, target. This, in this instance, we're targeting the lungs. So it's going to help us uh, build resiliency in the lungs as well. Again, we're trying to give the body an opportunity to stretch, take in oxygen fully, and then expel the CO2 fully. So with this movement, with this movement, we're easily facilitating that. Now notice how my movement goes all the way from my chest to my shoulders, out to the elbows, out to the wrist, and out to the fingers. Again, we're using and calling on the spirit of the white crane, a symbol of long life, a symbol of longevity. So now the way that we coordinate the breath with the movement, that's the next thing that we have to do is once we have the movement, we coordinate the breath with the movement. So we open and inhale. And exhale when we close. So we're going to do that. I'll do it with you five times. Okay. You want to go as slow as you can. If you can stretch your breath and stretch your movement as slow as you can, that's going to help to relax the mind and bring down the energy from the mind, inside the head, in the neck or the shoulders, wherever it's trying to sit and get stuck. It's raining. So now notice the movement is going all the way from my chest. See, see how my chest is really open. And then I close the chest, the shoulders, elbow, all the way hands to the fingers. I open the chest, open the back. And then close. So I'm going to finish here and take a, just a quick break. I'm going to bring in the arms, inhale, and then drop the arms, and exhale. So if you just joined us, hi Aunt Christine, if you just joined us, we're addressing the anxiety and the stress and where it gets stuck uh, in, the, in the body. If you, if you if, if you're experiencing anxiety or stress or have in the past few days or weeks, go ahead and just comment and put stress so that we know. And if you are able to feel it in the body, then comment where you feel it in the body. So for me, I feel anxiety and stress a lot of times in the chest, okay? Sometimes if I'm nervous, like if I have an event that I'm attending and I need to perform or something like that, I feel it in the gut. When I was a kid, I always felt nervousness. When I competed, I felt it in the gut. But right now, uh, in these times, uh, when anxiety or stress rises up for me, I feel it in the chest. And so this is not good, especially with this um, illness and with this virus that's attacking the lungs. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna have my lungs in a position where they're compromised. So I want them, um, flowing and moving and and uh, doing the job effic uh, efficiently. So that means I'm gonna do a little bit of work to stretch all the tissues and move all the tissues around the lungs, which is the chest and even the, the shoulder girdle. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the, the white crane uh, movement, which is a symbol in Chinese Qigong. White crane is a symbol of longevity and long life. And when we look at how the white crane or even a, a large bird moves in the sky, it's just very soft, very fluid, 
and very smooth, right? So this is what we're using and this is what we're gonna be activating. We have to use the mind and the breath and the body. We have to use those three to address and to control the mind and the body itself, okay? So these are active exercises that you can do to take control of the energy, your physical energy, your mental state, your physical state, whether you're relaxed or not relaxed. So I'll show the movement again. Inhaling, opening big. Exhaling, closing. Inhale. Exhale. Notice all the way to the fingertips. Inhale. So you can do three and then drop the hands. Here you relax the shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands, and fingers. And then we lift them up again. This is inhale. And exhale. Notice my back and notice my chest. So my chest is closed and my back is open. Hey Ryan, we're uh, doing a white crane movement for the stress and anxiety and uh, the lungs itself. So like if you just join, I'm talking about reducing the stress and the anxiety. For me, I feel anxiety uh, arise, it manifests physically in my lungs. And so this isn't good uh, for the virus that's currently going around because it attacks the lungs. So I need to make sure that my lungs are resilient and they're operating efficiently. What they need to do is take in the oxygen and uh, oxygenate the blood, oxygenate all the cells in the body. So if I'm feeling anxious, or if I'm feeling anxiety and tightness in the, in the lungs, they're not, gonna be, they're not gonna be operating efficiently and smoothly my blood and my energy in my body will not be operating and flowing, circulating smoothly. So, yeah, you wanna fly? <laughs> All right, Ming, let's fly. Okay, so exactly, we're using this, the white crane movement as a, as, a, as a relaxing and soft movement to exercise the lungs and bring down the anxiety and the energy of the stress, okay? So it's one simple movement, it's really easy, anybody can do it. All you have to do is open your chest and your shoulders real big, and then close them. And then you coordinate your breath, see? We go inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. You can do this sitting down, you can do this standing up, Inhale and exhale. Notice it goes all the way to the fingers and then I drop the hands. I release and relax. I pick it up, inhale and exhale. All the way to the fingers, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. 
all the way to the fingers. Drop the hands and arms and relax. I rest there. Inhale again. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So we're pumping the lungs. Basically what we're doing is we're pumping the lungs. So a lot of times in Qigong when we look at uh, the organs, we like to massage the organs. And basically what we're doing is a self-massage with this mind, body, and breath movement all in one. Okay? So I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to let you guys go. One simple movement right there that you can do to build lung resiliency, to oxygenate the lungs and the body, and then also to expel all of the CO2. Okay? So you want your lungs resilient right now, and you want all of the tissues around the lungs to be open, flexible, and pliable so that they're operating fully. One last thing I'll share with you is the diaphragm. You want the diaphragm moving down too. So remember I talked about a sigh? The sigh is a natural body response to bring down stress and anxiety and elevated, see what I mean? Elevated uh, energy. Like I said, for me, I feel anxiety in the chest. So I use this to get it out of the chest, get it into the hands and arms and release it. And we use the white crane as a symbol. It's a symbol uh, that's noted in Chinese culture as a symbol of long life and longevity. And when we, want, when we think about the, the bird, the long flapping wings, we want to use that movement and try to enter the space of that long, flowing, soft movement. So that long, flowing, soft movement is what we want to do to our breath. And as a result, our mind will come down. The thoughts and the uh, repetition and the, continue, uh, the, the continuity of the thoughts will will also slow and stop. So you can think of this as a moving meditation. And uh, that's, that's all I have to share right now. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down. And that's it. Wishing you all health, vitality, and long life. Take care, and I'll see you soon.